Hi, my name is Lisa Janice, and this is my network learning project for CEP 810 at Michigan State University. The network learning project is a project that allows us as students to learn how to do something that we've always wanted to do using only YouTube and help forms found online. As a part of my project, my goal was to learn how to make an apple pie from scratch. After already attempting this once, I found out that my first apple pie turned out well with just a few issues with the crust. Today, my goal is to perfect rolling the crust out, picking it up, laying it down in the pie pan in one unbroken piece. The resources I used were two videos from YouTube, each titled Apple Pie Recipe and How to Make an Apple Pie. The forum I used was on WikiHow, and it was called How to Bake an Apple Pie from Scratch. The first step in making an apple pie is to make the crust. Here I have the ingredients for the crust mixed into this bowl half cup flour, one teaspoon salt, three four stick Crisco, and five tablespoons of cold water. Now after kneading my dough, I'm going to move my dough from the bowl to the countertop to roll it out. I laid flour down to help prevent the dough from sticking to the counter or rolling pin, and hopefully it'll all stay in one piece. I'm going to roll the dough into a circle about two inches bigger than the pie pan. Now I will slowly use the rolling pin to pick up the dough, letting it partially stick to the roller, and then lay it in the pie pan. Then rip off any excess around the edges. Here's the bottom of the pie ready to go in the fridge to set. Now it's time to peel and slice the apples. Here I have my apples already peeled and sliced ready to make the filling. For the filling I will add 1 3rd cup white sugar, 1 3rd cup brown sugar, 1 quarter teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon cinnamon, a half teaspoon nutmeg, and 3 tablespoons of flour. Next I will mix it all together, shake, and then put it in the fridge. Time to pull out the remaining crust for the top, which was separated before rolling out the bottom crust and placed in the fridge while I was working on everything else. I'm going to lay out flour, then start rolling out the dough. Once that is done, I'm going to take my filling and put it in the pie shell. Now it's time to pick up the top crust and lay it over the pie pressing the edges together to seal up the pie. Lastly, I'm going to brush the top with milk and dust with cinnamon and sugar to get a nice golden color and have some added flavor and texture to the crust. The apple pie will go in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Now I have to turn it down to 375 degrees for another 45 minutes. After all that, my pie is done. Let's see how this turned out. Looking at the crust, it looks like it had turned out pretty good. Throughout this process, I've learned to bake an apple pie from scratch. The first one was a little iffy on the crust. Let's take a look at a before picture. Now, let's take a look at the second pie. As you can see, it's a little more golden brown on the crust. It's not as sealed up around the edges, but all in all, it looks good, and I'm sure it tastes just as good.